views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The doctor is in. Welcome to the Psychic Love Doctor with host Deborah Lee. Deborah has been practicing, teaching, and perfecting the personal prophecy card reading method for 20 plus years. This life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. This inspiring show will help you never feel helpless in life or love ever again. Now, here's your host, Deborah Lee. Hi, what? welcome to Psychic Love Doctor Show with our host, Deborah Lee. And my wonderful intuitive co host, Daryl, also resident hubster. <laughs> and we're going to have a special guest with us today, uh, Pamela Hopkins. From the Healing Fountain in Virginia Beach, who will be discussing a very important topic with us a little later in the show. Our topic today that we're kicking off the show with is going to be psychic soup, our favorite thing. <laughs> yeah, this is heady brew. Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. What a heady brew. And it is filled with all sorts of this, that, and everything in between, like a big cauldron of murky, delicious delights. <laughs> we're going to discuss uh, some of these high-profile deaths that have occurred within the entertainment industry this past week or so. I guess it's going on two weeks now. Yeah. First, though, we are so happy to be here. There are some really nasty viruses floating around out there. Please don't catch them. I will tell you this morning, I actually, what? Well, how would I put this, Daryl? I uh, won the porcelain goddess trophy. I did, yes. <laughs> I worshipped and I did it very well. So watch out, there are noroviruses. In fact, in our neighboring city of Norfolk, Virginia, a cruise ship landed a, a, like a day early filled with norovirus sufferers, and of course they unleashed them on our community. So out there, I know they're circulating in other parts of the country. Hang in there. Summer's coming, and hopefully we'll be rid of all these dastardly viruses circula- circulating around. All right. Now, whenever we say we're going to do a Psychic Soup show, we always receive tons of email from the uh, email bag, I guess you'd call it. Um, And I want to thank everybody who has pitched in to ask us about different celebrities or notables, uh, you know, for us to take a look in the cards and to see behind the scenes what's really going on in, in their lives. And while we're doing this, by the way, I'd like you to all welcome Pamela Hopkins, she has sat down and joined us for the show. We will first go through these special celebrity insights, and then we will get to Pamela, who's going to help us deal and cope with unexpected, sudden, drastic loss. I remember before we start these that these are just perceptions we see in the cards at the moment. Don't take them as gospel, and please, all you... Celebrities out there, don't come after us. <laughs> Personal prophecy tends to be amazingly accurate in terms of perception, but we certainly want to have that disclaimer out there because we don't need any of them chasing us down because of something. And it can change, correct? Yeah. Yes, exactly. We all are masters of our own destiny. Free will always comes into place uh and and play as far as our lives but i found this really interesting first i wanted to take a look at joni lauer who was china with the wwe that's it you know this woman was both a a famous wrestler an actress was also a a very well-known bodybuilder right and something probably not everybody realizes she went to China for a while and taught English. So she really wore many hats during this lifetime. And her uh, manager has gone on record saying that Joni died of an accidental overdose, that she misused her um, prescription medication and might have actually been uh, dead in her bed for two to three days or more. 
Well, I wanted to take a look at her cards before we even get to, I know, the, the big one. I wanted to talk uh, to, well, I guess, converse with my cards as far as what the perceptions were about Joni and her life while she was among us. What I find in readings like hers is that she was among us on this earthly plane or this level of existence for a very important purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody wants to get so grandiose when it comes to purpose, quote unquote, or a high calling in life. The thing is, not everybody is here as a Mother Teresa or as a Pope. You know what I mean? Right. So some are actually going to walk a path through the dirty streets of life to either help to move society forward or to help us reach a higher level of awareness or to teach important spiritual lessons to those they encounter along the way. Right. And China's reading is very much like that. And her life is perceived to have ended as it did because she was, get this, called to another plane of existence or level of consciousness. My perception is that her work here was essentially done. My perception is that she shared in many lifetimes as a, a, either a great teacher, a well-known educator, and even as a highly revered prophet. Yes, our Joni, wow, our China. That's incredible. Not a failed life at all, as they're often publicizing out there right now, but rather a fulfilled life as far as what she came here to accomplish. Well, wait a minute here. Didn't she do a bunch of porn movies also? She did. And, you know, like I just said, not everybody is here to be a Mother Teresa. I feel that entering the porn industry was part of her walk. She was there, essentially, I'm hearing on an intuitive level, in order to help change the lives of others who either felt victimized or trapped or helpless in some way that this was the only way that they could survive. And if she managed to get one person who was able to say to themselves, you know, thanks to Joni, I need to get the hell out of here. That is a life fulfilled. That is a, a transformation for that individual who's out there walking now. And Pamela, I know that you can agree with this too, that not every lesson is learned by somebody who's alive and breathing. Sometimes it's through their unfortunate passing that we're able to really change our way of thinking in our lives. As a result of that yeah, loss. I love that. I think you're absolutely right. And I think that's really profound. You know, I think the big thing that people have to know is that everybody's doing the best that they can. And everything that we do is always making a bigger purpose than we could even know. And unfortunately, part of the human experience is we're going to be judgmental about each other. We're going to make pronouncements about what somebody else is doing with their life. Mm -hmm. And it's really tragic to me in the sense that, in the sense that Mary Magdalene, what, I mean, look at that in terms of biblical, you know, record. Uh -huh. she, she was really uh, not a beloved character during those times, but uh -huh. in her way, uh -huh. she was. She, yeah, she did some pretty profound work. You know, what's really cool about this is that, Nobody really knows the real picture of what's going on in each person's individual life. And nobody knows the great work that they actually be, could be doing and made a big difference. You know, with, like you said, one individual, one person. Exactly. Helping people um, behind closed doors. Behind closed doors. So I think, you know, um, there's greatness in everybody. And even though we don't know it, we need to be looking for it. And most importantly, we need to be looking within ourselves. Oh, I love that, Pamela. That is so true. Because often what is a deficit within ourselves, we will condemn someone else for what is actually our own flaw. <laughs> Not often, always. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I love that. That's great. <laughs> that was great. I see we have a, a list building for readings, and we will be uh, doing conducting live on the air readings. We'll wait till we come back from break, though, in a couple of minutes. Right. So, and I'm also going to hold on getting Prince, who is being so immortalized right now as a legend. Mm -hmm. And we need to kind of bite into that a little mm -hmm. bit because I think it will be 
very enlightening what the card shared with me concerning Prince. I love that. I really would love that because I think he offered so much for so many different types of personality. He had a way of touching the gay community, the, the uh, party community, the party community, <laughs> you know, the and one man can transgender pull. community, like you know. like him with Vanity, the, the lady Vanity. Mm-hmm. He actually wanted to name her Vagina, if you can remember that. And I'm thinking, who else could pull that off? Yeah, really. I don't even think Andrew Dice Clay back during his heyday could have pulled that off, but Prince did. Prince. Well, he pulled off everything. He decided he was going to change his name and call himself nothing. <laughs> the, uh, I mean, the, the artist. The, the, the <laughs> used to be yeah, known as. And he was a known. symbol. Yeah, yeah. So that just shows you his talent. Oh, and wait till you see what he's up to now on the spiritual level and as far as having actually reincarnated since his recent passing. This is a guy that jumped right back into. I love it. Yeah, it's going to be great. I love it. I think it's going to be exciting. Well, Daryl, you want to give our phone number so we can make sure we get all the readings in today? Phone number to give us a call is 1-800-930-2819. That's 1-800-930-2819. So, Deb, when you're doing the personal prophecy on the movie stars, do you look at it from what was he here to accomplish to what is yes, he doing now? Exactly. And, and also to communicate on a spiritual level with that that. So you kind of do a mediumship to the yeah. personal yes, prophecy. Yes, thank you for mentioning I that. I love that. Let's, let's, let's hold that thought okay. for a few minutes here. And let's get a break. We'll be right back. Want the freedom to spend more time with your loved ones? Travel the world? Live spontaneously? Get ready because the Chip Justice Show is here. Hosts Dr. Pat Vasily and Chip Justice can help you build meaningful success while embracing life. Living a life you love is the end game in this new, inspirational, and empowering show. Positive changes for a life you'll love. Tune in every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com and visit PositiveChangeInstitute.co for more information. Hey everyone, meet my friends at the Maca team. The ancient Inca root vegetable Maca is known worldwide for its huge array of health benefits. As a family-run company of true Maca specialists, the Maca team is here to bring you the best Maca the Peruvian Mountains has to offer. Yellow Maca, used to promote endurance, vitality, fertility, hormone health, and much more is on sale now. I love it. Visit themacateam.com to order yours now. Themacateam.com. Hi, I'm Tim Darter. And I'm Steve Kramer. Join us on Spirit Fire Radio. Discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day. And watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. The doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Speaker, teacher, channel, clairvoyant, Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst who channels a powerful energy from source to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. 
Hi, welcome back to the Psychic Love Doctor show with our host, Deborah Lee. And, and uh, our amazing co-host, Daryl. And, and our special guest, Pamela Hopkins. Yes, so grateful to have her with us today. As we do Psychic Soup, we do live on the air readings, and she is going to guide us later in the hour with how to cope with unexpected drastic loss in our lives. Right. We say we get our first caller, uh, Susan from New York City. Sure, let's say hello to Susan. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. How can we help okay. you today with the reading, Susan? Um, uh, it's kind of like a sort of a life reading, I guess. I'm, I'm at a crossroads in my life. And I keep thinking to close my business and sell off my inventory and move, maybe abroad. And uh, I have some ideas what I might do, but I have not started networking um, as I'm so busy with my business. And uh, I'm not married. And anyway, I'm just kind of trying to get some clarification there. Well, Susan, jumping you're very me. much in luck today because... I'm not only going to give you a reading, but we have a fabulous life coach here with us. That would be Ms. Pamela Hopkins, and she will. Hi. You want to start with her, and I'll open yeah. the cards. Hi, Susan. This is Pamela. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. the uh, The first thing that's coming to me is that, um, you know, when we when we start getting outlandish ideas, like. Maybe I'll just sell my business and um, sell everything. <laughs> I think I've that... I've been thinking about this any... for a while, though. I'm sorry, what'd Go you ahead. say, hon? I said I've been thinking about this for, for a couple years now. So. Okay, but good. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. That just tells me that you're getting nudges intuitively that there's something else that you should or want to do. Now, I'm not exactly sure the cards are going to give us more detail about, uh, you know, if it should be abroad. But whatever you think of, whatever you desire, when you start to feel these feelings, all possibilities are here for you. And these possibilities are telling you that you want to pay attention more to your feelings. And, you know, as you pay attention to them and you start believing that these possibilities can be here, new doors are going to open up. So I think that there's something to be said about you even having these feelings to begin with, especially since they're coming in for the last two years that you need to look at and uh, not take lightly. I, I agree with you, Pamela, 100%. Susan, I am seeing that all of this is happening in your life for a specific reason. A reason that I'm seeing is, first of all, I'm hearing itchy hands and feet. You want to get busy doing more than what you're doing right now. She's, you've all grown this, this part of your life that you have arena. devoted to your, the arena, right, of your business. And, yes, I do feel that you are systematically moving toward sweeping change. And it's wonderful. She's going to feel like a, she's got a new lease on life. And it's coming sooner than you think. Honest to goodness here, Susan, first of all, I also feel that it's coming through anger, like becoming really irritated. And this can be like jet fuel for us as we propel ourselves toward a new future. It's like that individual who sits in an office and says, you know what? I've had it. I'm done. I'm quitting. And they don't even have anything lined up, but they just know that they've reached the end of the road. And that anger is putting one foot in front of the other. Okay, so what I'm seeing for you is that within the next, I'll go short by, say, six months, but I'm going to also go long and say 18 months. Within this time frame, your life is going to undertake huge transformation. And while I say that, Susan, you are going to start seeing butterflies, whether they're painted butterflies, real butterflies, plastic butterflies. She's going to start seeing them oh, everywhere. That, Susan, that stands for metamorphosis of change. Yes, and yeah. that is going to be assigned to her. You know, I keep hearing that song, <laughs> I'm going on a jet plane. Do you remember that song? Yes. And she, and yeah. I keep All my bags are packed. Yes, that's right. I'm hearing that song in my head. 
And um, I'm hearing that you are going to take this plane, and you're going to get off this plane, and you're going to feel like you walked into another world. And what I love about this uh, is that all your senses are going to be on alert, and you're going to start listening to your intuition more and connecting more. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. at the end of that journey, once you've taken that walk across that big bridge, is her future mate. Mm. You have to go through this change in order for the two of you to meet. So that's why you're feeling these yearnings. And that's why you feel, you know, a sense of restlessness and itchy mm. hands and feet. I'd like to give you an exercise to do for you, Susan. I want you to um, I want you to imagine that you actually have sold your business. You've sold the inventory. I want you to be, I want you to do what I call a G-A-B, GAB. And it's a generating affirmation being. So what you're doing is you're putting an affirmation into action like it's already happened. And your generating affirmation being would be, oh my God, I just, I have so much money I made on all my inventory. I have already, I'm already in Paris. I am walking across that bridge and there he is. There he is. <laughs> Here he's coming. And everything is falling in together. Everything, all the pieces of the puzzle are coming together. The things that I have the most passion for are opening up more than ever. And as you're walking across the bridge and you're feeling this and you're seeing this and you're behaving as if it's happening, a swarm of butterflies have just showed up that are building the faith. And I want you to just do a meditation on this. So you're going to listen to this and you're going to close your eyes. You're going to imagine it happening. You're going to see the Eiffel Tower or whatever in Paris. You're going to see the man. I know he's cute and adorable and, and sexy and sexy <laughs> and he's walking right towards you he's got flowers <laughs> and you are feeling the butterflies feeling everything and then after you see it for about 15 20 seconds in this imaginary state of being you take a deep breath and you sit in this silence for 20 more seconds and just start doing that on a daily basis and watch how everything starts showing up. You're teaching her to create her own reality. Absolutely. Is what you're doing. Absolutely. And as my grandmother used to say about the four suits of the deck, and in case we didn't say this to all of you, I only use an ordinary deck of playing cards. My grandmother, who taught this method to me, said that each of the four suits represent the four elements of creation. Right. When we put an intention down on the reading, which I do every time I read for myself or others, we are actually in the process of creating I love it. I love our it. reality. I love it. And it's all here for her in this deck. Mm -hmm. So what we're I'm, hearing is I'm, you're on go. You want to use your imagination, start generating the state of knowing this is what you're supposed to do. And then you're supposed to take action, selling your inventory and everything. Get, follow your heart. You're already being led by your heart where to go. You already have an idea of what you want to do. And if you don't, go to the things that excite you the most, and they're going to be there to show you. Yeah, I agree. And uh, Susan, are you still with us? Yeah. No, I'm listening. Okay. I wanted to mention to you, if this is all a lot to absorb, Please know that this show will be recorded and placed in the Transformation Talk Radio archives. So you'd be able to okay. reaccess this at a later time. So you don't have okay. to sit there and think, oh, my gosh, how am I going to remember all of this? <laughs> yeah. All okay, right. Good. I really think you've got a fantastic future ahead of you. And I see this girl is very resilient. She's very resourceful. Mm -hmm. And she only feels stuck right now. Because she's supposed I'm to feel so stuck right now. It's time for change. Uh -huh. Yeah, I yeah. see all these balloons kind of lifting her up as you're walking across the bridge. You feel like the weight of the world has been lifted off of you and you're ready to fly. So mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah. So we're getting good news, okay. good feelings, and good intuition and good prophecy about your, yeah, I have your gut okay. feelings. I, I Susan, do have an thank idea you so where... much for calling. Now, you have to stay okay. in touch. We want to have you check in with us so we know what's happening at, at a particular time. So, please, be in touch. 
listen in again and uh, if you okay. want to follow yeah. your story. Yeah, call back when you start feeling like everything's coming in together <laughs> and we'll give you some steps on what to do next. Right, exactly. Building okay. blocks. <clears throat> yeah, because uh, Dr. Deb is wonderful of not only doing the prophecy, but kind of coaching you through the process. Well, and Pamela, you are pretty awesome yourself. Thank you. You're the reason we're even here doing what we do. So, and you have an important anniversary coming up. Yeah, we have our 10 year um, <laughs> healing fountain anniversary. You're going to be part of Oh, I know. I just think though it'd be nice to put out there that anyone who happens to be within the vicinity of Hampton Roads, you're welcome to please come and join us. Please, you want them to um, reserve in advance. Absolutely. You're going to get five hours of five different people just nurturing and healing and giving you prophecy like Deb and angel readings and mediumship and hypnosis and Reiki healing Lots and of massage. I mean, they're going to be blown away. Yeah, it can't blown get away. any better than that. And it's your anniversary for yes. 10 years, yes. 10 glorious years. Yes. And, uh, and the healing fountain only gets better and better because of the family that we have here is made of love and and we're so supportive towards each other and it's just a wonderful place and it'll be a day of celebration and chocolate lots right. of chocolate let's go to a break here we'll be right back call, give us a call 1-800-930-2819 yeah. everyone meet my friends at the maca team the ancient inca root vegetable maca is known worldwide for its huge array of health benefits as a family-run company of true maca specialists the maca team is here to bring you the best maca the peruvian mountains has to offer yellow maca used to promote endurance vitality fertility hormone health and much more is on sale now i love it visit the to order yours now the Hi, I'm Tim Darter. And I'm Steve Kramer. Join us on Spirit Fire Radio. Discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day. And watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. The doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Francine Vale is a being of light. She believes that all people of planet Earth are as well. As co-host of the Angel Healer radio show, Francine teaches you heart-centered ways to manifest healing on your own behalf and how to integrate love more fully into your daily life. Connect with your angels as you find your life flowing with ease and harmony. Walk the path of light with Francine and Dr. Pat Basili every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to strengthen relationships with others? Do you want to improve your financial status? Colette Marie Steffen is partnering with Mark Kettenbach to bring you an energetic upgrade online experience launching in April. Unfold and develop your full potential. Visit energeticupgrade.com today for more information. That's energeticupgrade.com. Hi, welcome back to the Psychic Love Doctor Show with our host, Deborah Lee. Today's and, topic is Psychic Soup. And we also have the <clears throat> lovely Pamela Hopkins sitting in with us. She is our resident life coach and, oh, you do lots of things. Uh, energy healing, hypnosis. Reiki. Yes. And I'm a licensed clinical social worker, so I actually do psychotherapy. 
and she <laughs> takes insurance for those of you out there who have maybe been looking for somebody who's a little off the beaten path as far as <laughs> traditional. Exactly. Although the normal turnaround for change here of uh, getting help is three to five visits. That's pretty fast. Yes. yes. Well, and we are living testimonials to that, too. Not just because we love her so much, but we first came, actually walked in the healing fountain as people looking for some help. Daryl had just been diagnosed with the severe cancer yep. that he had. I was terrified of how I was going to survive this whole odyssey of surgery and the ICU. And, you know, and there was Pamela. Pamela was right there. And I'll tell you. We have, and here we are. <laughs> it's been like home ever since. Yep. It's, it has. Now, as far as the psychic soup, we've been receiving questions from listeners who would like us to delve into the, the secret deep sides of celebrities and other notables. You know, yeah, that how the juicy. Line. I love it. I and love it. we're talking about those who have passed on within this last week or so. No, it's been amazing. We just, I know, it's crazy, isn't it, in a sense? Yes. They say that deaths come in threes. I remember hearing that as a kid growing up. Mm -hmm. Well, we had Doris Roberts, who I adored on Everybody Loves Raymond. Mm -hmm. Nobody will ever be the comedic actor that she was mm -hmm. then there was uh well of course Joni Lawer, who mm -hmm. was china with the wwe yep. then there was well prince who we're going to talk about now and then there was also Patton oswalt who was on did you ever watch the king of queens yes with doug and carrie uh-huh well he was doug's friend kind of heavy set guy okay yeah. His wife died in her sleep last Thursday night. Oh, my night. goodness. Well, a week ago Thursday. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't So it? that's why we brought you in today, Pamela, not only because we just love hearing your insights and your guidance, but also we needed to have a little help with how to cope with, you know, unexpected extreme loss. Yes. Which brings us to Prince. Okay. I, I, I find that as we look all around on every kind of media, he's being immortalized as a legend. Prince is at the opposite end of the spectrum where China or Joni Lauer was, is, is, as far as I said, her purpose in, in life. And as far as Prince's work here on Earth, I perceived he was meant to be an entertainer, a colorful, high-profile character that he was with the purpose to make us enjoy the moments of our lives and to even laugh at ourselves when we need to. Then now remember, these are all things that I received intuitively from the cards. He was, plainly speaking, a caricature of quirkiness, opulence, and excess, if you think about Prince as Prince. My perception is that shortly after his passing, get this, he reincarnated to return to earthly existence to once again entertain the masses and to show them how to enjoy life. This guy just turned a, he just did like a U-turn and right <laughs> back he came. Oh my gosh. So I think he's already out here in the world as a, as a youngster, a baby. As an infant. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. wow. Now, this is even more eye-opening, I thought. Um, his spirit comes through the cards as intensely joy-filled. You could say his spirit is angelic in that sense. And this time around, I am seeing him growing to become a comedian behind the wheel of, say, a taxi cab in New York City. Oh, my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> it was something I'm hearing intuitively that he always aspired to in secret. Driving a cab, considering passengers as a quote-unquote captive audience, who needed a bright spot of laughter during what what he perceived to be an otherwise humdrum existence. Wow. Now, how about that? Who that is so cool. That's why that I so love cool. this method. It doesn't just pump sunshine up your skirt. It will give you, like, the story behind the story. I love it. I love it. I love it. So there you yeah. go. And I think that is so interesting that he had such a big life here, and he's coming back to make it more qualitative in the now <laughs> every person as he's having fun in a taxi cab imagine now, that and that... think of it that's an audience of what maybe three four people yes. at most yes but maybe he didn't need arenas full of people 
He just needed those few to put a smile on that businessman's face or that that lawyer rush, rushing off to court. Mm-hmm. And that to him would be his gift that mm-hmm. he had. I have a question. Do you uh, do you go into the cards and because uh, I know you can do mediumship, right? Do you go into the cards and ask the cards like what Prince really got out of this life being so big and being so immortal? Well, I didn't ask that, but that's a very good question, isn't it? Yeah. Or Michael Jackson or, you know, well, for- people that were really, really big movie stars i mean they're legends they're really legends well look at prince i think the way that he considered his fortune speaks for itself in the sense that he didn't even set up a will mm-hmm. and now the siblings are all jumping in there like and they're mm-hmm. fighting and mm-hmm. you know over his 300 million dollar fortune i think there's enough for everybody mm-hmm. but see to him i think it was really inconsequential he yeah. just enjoyed what he did but how how insightful pamela that would be for one thing i think it's kind of like joining the military to go into the entertainment business because you already have to have a little bit of a misfit in you because i don't think ordinary people could first of all handle the rejection have that kind of dedication live out of a car if necessary but on the other hand like the military it attracts misfits because they can't fit into normal Mm-hmm. regular life mm-hmm. either. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I resent that remark. <laughs> <laughs> and you weren't you the guy that kept getting fired from all your civilian jobs? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you joined the Navy and you life out. <laughs> I was either getting fired or laid off or just told <laughs> to go away. So it's not like they're a bubble off mentally, but I think they are just a horse of a whole different color. Mm-hmm. You know, and when I do readings, and I do, I have a celebrity clientele. Sorry, I can't tell you. We do observe confidentiality here at the Healing Fountain. But they are all just regular folks in so Absolutely. many ways, you know. Absolutely. And I think they sometimes um, despise their own celebrity. Well, you know, like with Prince, uh, the status where he's at, he could have never just drove around and been free. <laughs> in New You're York right. And talking to people and having fun at the same time. So I think we all come in to experience uh, life and what we want to enjoy in every experience. And, you know, all of us have been here millions and millions of times. This isn't our first rodeo. No. <laughs> and we get to experience all of this. It's when you start talking about these parallel lives that I feel like I'm looking into one of those mirrors in like a, a retail store yes. and holding up a mirror and you see like yes. infinity mirrors. Yes. So it's like I love hard that. to comprehend. And really what, what you said about him being, you know, so big, so huge and so celebrated especially with people that are, uh, you know, aware of his passing and everything. And then for him to come back in as a taxi cab Turn driver, right around. Right around. <laughs> that's what we're doing all the time. I mean, we're choosing different experiences all the time. Well, and time really is, um, what would you call it? It's a... It's non-existent, that's to it. tell you the truth. Yeah. yeah. That there's only, there's only now... And we're shifting, I, this blows my mind, but we're shifting into a new parallel reality as a brand new person a billion times in one second. That's pretty much a lot. To yeah, this to. is quantum <laughs> physics. And so him <laughs> passing and coming right back, that was his choice. And what he's doing is he's coming back and having the experience of joy and laughter and freedom in New York oh, when he be, never yeah. had it before. So in a way, it's his little joke because he may be wearing a turban. He might be looking like, you know, he just stepped off the docks. You know how cab drivers are a colorful bunch of people. And yet he I feel he has angelic qualities. I think he's like uh, one from from the higher power has like we'll say a court. And he said, you, you'll be the talented court jester. Get busy. Mm -hmm. Get down there. Make Mm -hmm. them dance. Mm -hmm. Get them singing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right there. I really feel like a superstar. Um, When we get back from break, which we're going to go to in a second or two here, we have a burning question that came in from one of our listeners about the big drama on the Castle TV show. Now... 
this was a little beyond my reach because I'm not really, I mean, I'm a Game of Thrones and I, you know, I've got my own little collection of shows that right, I follow. Right. Have you followed Castle? No, I haven't. The- <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What is going well, on? I, this reader sent me a link to catch up so I could know. And we're going to get into it when we get back. Uh, and we do have a reading waiting in the wings. So maybe we'll hurry, though, get those two in our last segment. Hopefully. But yes, this is about two actors on the show, and one of them got fired, and the real reason behind the reason. Cool. All right, let's go to break, and we'll be right back, folks. Yeah. Access Consciousness is coming back to Seattle this April for three amazing events. Mark your calendars. April 20th through the 22nd is the Access Consciousness Body Classes, created by Gary Douglas and Dr. Dane here. Facilitated by Dr. Glenna Rice. Explore verbal processes and hands-on body work that will unlock the tension, resistance, and dis-ease of the body by shifting energy dynamically. April 23rd through the 25th is the Advanced Access Body Class with Gary Douglas. What if you could undo a whole lot of limitations that you have locked into your body and create an alteration of the way your body functions? Then, on April 26th at 7 p.m., join Gary Douglas for the Abuse Hold class. This is the first time ever that this dynamic process is being presented in a class format. Find out more about these Access Consciousness April events in Seattle by visiting transformation.events. That's transformation.events. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pat. The ancient Inca root vegetable maca is world renowned for its wide array of health benefits. As a family run company of true maca specialists, the maca team's mission is to provide you with fresh, organic, premium quality maca powders at a fair price. Amazing. All of the products are always organically grown, fair traded, GMO free, fresh, and potent. So don't take my word for it. Experience the life changing benefits of maca today. Visit themacateam.com. Francine Vale is a being of light. She believes that all people of planet Earth are as well. As co-host of the Angel Healer radio show, Francine teaches you heart-centered ways to manifest healing on your own behalf and how to integrate love more fully into your daily life. Connect with your angels as you find your life flowing with ease and harmony. Walk the path of light with Francine and Dr. Pat Basili every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to strengthen relationships with others? Do you want to improve your financial status? Colette Marie Steffen is partnering with Mark Kettenbach to bring you an energetic upgrade online experience launching in April. Unfold and develop your full potential. Visit energeticupgrade.com today for more information. That's energeticupgrade.com. The doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Hi, welcome back to the Psychic Love Doctor Show with our host Deborah Lee and our special guest Pamela Hopkins. And you too, Daryl, <laughs> our intuitive co host. We yes. couldn't do this without you. All right, let's get our next caller, Anne <laughs> from California. Hi, Anne. Hello, how are you? Oh, we're doing great. How are you, huh? I'm good, thank you. 
Uh, since uh, you're a love doctor, I thought I would ask you my question. Maybe you could help. Sure. Um, there is a person that I was very much interested to develop a re relationship, and we had an argument about three weeks ago, and now we're not even talking to him. And I don't know, do you see that this will be resolved and we will grow and the relationship will develop? Or it's something that I shouldn't even think about. Oh, this is a good question, and I'm so glad you called to ask. This method, personal prophecy, is extremely good at helping us with difficulties emotionally when we're dealing with others. Because we're able to see how we can sometimes not be on parallel levels. Kind of like we might be a scuba or a deep sea diver, and the person that we care for is like in a little motorboat up on top of the... That's exactly right. Yeah. So it's hard sometimes to have a true meeting of minds or to understand where they're coming from. So I'm taking a good look at that for you. And Pamela will give you a little bit of life coaching in the meantime. Um, I, you know what? I think you're dealing with somebody here who has a great deal of pride. And sorry, to okay. men sometimes really <clears throat> dig in and they don't want to be the one who caves with the apology, but that is, it. they don't realize that love is a strength. It's not a weakness, but they seem to think it's a weakness. I definitely feel that it will not be long at all before the two of you are patching things up and, and moving along smartly. It's kind of turned into a he said, she said, and the best move to make is simply let go of the rope. As if you're in a tug of war, the winning move is let go of the rope. Nothing is worth not ever speaking to each other again. And I feel she knows that. And you have a beautiful, giving, loving heart, honey. And he needs to step up here. It's time for him. And I hope if, if you're out there listening there, Mr. Man, <laughs> you need to get busy with this lady because you're going to lose her. And I would rather see him. And I do feel your paths are going to cross and he is going to reach out. And he may not say those magic words. For some reason, that word sorry, I'm sorry, is mm -hmm. a hard phrase. Mm -hmm. But there are other ways that they can. Mm -hmm. they can. So was this a, a, do you mind if I ask you some questions here, Ann? Sure. Mm -hmm. Hello? Oh, yes, I'm here. Listening. She's here. So, Ann, did I'm this, uh, was this disagreement mutual between the two of you? No, it was not actually a big disagreement. He's, I asked something, he snapped at me, and I said, I'm sorry, but you cannot treat me like this. And right. that's right. All. And after that, right. not a single word and nothing, just silence. Well, that's his pride <clears throat> right there. Right, that's his pride. So the real question that you've got to ask yourself is... How do you feel about even having him come back if he's not going to look at that issue? And I think what I would do, it sounds like you really like this guy. Is that correct? I did, and now, honestly, I have second thought that if the person didn't the treat, person? treat me well. Well, one, and... I love that you're looking at that yeah. because he's showing you how he communicates, to tell you the truth. Well, and he can learn how to do a better job. Exactly. I have nothing but faith in him. I saw nothing but goodness in his heart. He just needs to be educated a little bit about, he needs to go to Anne 101 and learn how to treat <laughs> her, you know. As so I think, you know, you could, uh, I love what you're saying, Deb. What you're really saying is, he has great potential, but he doesn't know how to communicate. So, Anne, you can um, you can send him a text or an email or something and say, if you'd like to sit down and talk sure. about how we can communicate in a more honoring, loving way together, I, I or miss you. Or if he prefers to wait, he will make that move. He okay. isn't, I really do feel... And I hope you call us, Sam, when that happens, because I'd love to, to hear that he was man enough to get you back in his life. Well, I love that, too, because really what you want is you want communication, and you just want a way that you can communicate in an honoring way. 
So, I mean, since you're feeling like he's really going to come in, yeah. I think that's the best way. And there's a two of hearts all over <clears throat> this. I really feel that there, there, there's love. This little bit of conflict is going to make them stronger in the end. He's telling him, you're not going to treat me the way you've treated other women. And he's got to come up to speed on that. Right. So, Anne, please get in touch. I have nothing but faith in this relationship between the two of you. Now, we're running really short on time, hon, so we're going to have to switch back to Psychic Soup here. Those castle fans will come with torches and, <laughs> and want to hang us in effigy if we don't get to this this reading yeah. about Nathan and Stana. 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 Okay, these are yeah. actors on the TV show Castle. Nathan Fillion and Stana Caddick. Okay. I apologize if I just murdered those names. Uh, anyway, she was fired from the show that my listeners have informed me. And reportedly, these two actors despise each other. Well, Are they the lead? The yes, lead? it's a yeah. big love story going on. Didn't the, they get married or something? Well, I don't know all the specifics. Oh, okay. Okay, but sorry. anyway, I wanted to find out, is this really true? Do they despise each other? And if this is so, why? Well, the cards had a whole different story to tell me. The cards indicate that she actually is very much in love with Nathan. And he dissed her, dissed her, you know, as in neurotic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's being such an evil little biatch toward him that in turn, he's retaliating with fire with fire. He's fighting back. And somebody had to be let off the show. People simply could not work within this atmosphere. And they decided that since he's the actual show character that the show is mm, about, exactly. they felt she had to go. And Nathan, if you're listening, honey, better off not even going there. Stay very far away. Be afraid. Be very afraid. There should be no second chance for this. Be afraid of her? <laughs> yes. Is she revengeful? Oh, well, yes. And she is just one of those super possessive women that is never going to be happy. And he was better off without her. So stay that way, Nathan. There's far better out there for you to... And the show will be successful either but, way? Well, the, a lot of the watchers, the regulars, they're upset. It's kind of like that Dr. McDreamy thing from Grey's Anatomy. Was it McDreamy? Yeah. Yep. Well, let's kind of wrap the show up yeah. there for today because we're about short on time. <laughs> I know we get so into all this juiciness, it's I hard know. to get out. But, Daryl, I know you have a little tidbit you want to share. Yep. Uh, for those of you who have smartphones, we have an app out there. It's called Psychic Love Doctor. It's a one card reading. You ask it a question, push the button, it gives you a reading. Pulls and draws the card before you, gives you the meaning. Uh, it's very accurate. I use it a lot in my work, and it's not always rainbows and unicorns. Sometimes it's mud and dirt. <laughs> uh, it doesn't necessarily always going to give you the answer you want at that moment, but remember what it told you because it'll come back to you later on. And we want to definitely thank Pamela for please coming in today. I think that you shared a lot of good insight with us. Always love having oh, you here. It's so much fun. If, you know, Personal prophecy just takes it into every arena of understanding and learning. And I love the celebrity. Oh, it is fun. Yes. I'm not sure they would like all their secrets exposed, but, you know. Well, I guess we're down to that last minute mark. And I want to end the show like I usually do in reverence to my grandmother who taught me this method. She always said to dream is to believe. And once you believe... All things are possible. Take care, everybody. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye. We'll talk to you next week. You've been listening to The Psychic Love Doctor with host Deborah Lee. Deborah has been practicing, teaching, and perfecting the personal prophecy card reading method for 20-plus years. This life-affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. This inspiring show will help you never feel helpless in life or love ever again. To learn more about Deborah, visit www.psychiclovedoctor.com.